Hi, and welcome back to my podcast. This is another episode of the series Mahabharata. Chapter 8, Ekalavya Sacrifice. One day, Guru Dronacharya was giving a lesson of archery to his students. Just then, a hunter boy named Ekalavya came there. He greeted the Guru respectfully and then he displayed his archery skills to him. By his exceptional skills, he impressed Guru Dronacharya to a great extent. Ekalavya then made a request to him. Gurudev, kindly accept me as your student. I'll be very fortunate to be trained by you. Guru Dronacharya said, Dear son, I would have loved to train you as a student. But I can't teach you with my present batch. But my blessings are with you. Go and practice all the skills as much as you can. With Guru Dronacharya's blessings, Ekalavya returned to the forest he came from. He made an idol of Guru Dronacharya and worshipped the idol daily. He drew great inspiration from the idol and practiced with complete dedication. His hard work paid him back and he became a skillful archer. One day, the Pandavas and the Kauravas practicing their skills in the forest, they had a dog along with them. Suddenly, the dog ran away into the deep forest and reached to the spot where Ekalavya was practicing. The dog started barking loudly. The barking of the dog disturbed Ekalavya. To stop the barking, Ekalavya shot seven arrows in the dog's mouth. The arrows got stuck in the dog's mouth in a unique way. The dog came running to the Pandavas and the Kauravas. They were astonished to see the wonderful archery style. They followed the dog and found Ekalavya. The Pandavas and Kauravas admired Ekalavya's great skills and asked him, Who is your guru? Guru Dronacharya is my guru, replied Ekalavya. The princess was stunned by what they heard. They couldn't believe his words. They took Ekalavya to Guru Dronacharya and narrated the whole incident. Guru Dronacharya took no time to recognize Ekalavya. He was happy to see Ekalavya's success, but at the same time he got worried. He feared that Ekalavya was no less than Arjuna whom he wanted to declare as the best archer of the world. Ekalavya fell in Guru Dronacharya's feet and said, Gurudev, I've acquired these skills only because of your blessings and good wishes. I made your idol and worshipped it every day. Guru Dronacharya was highly touched. He said to Ekalavya, My dear, I'm really impressed and pleased to see your hard work and devotion. But if I am your guru, I deserve something called Guru Dakshana. You should also offer me the same thing as my other students have did. Please command me, Gurudev, what can I offer you? replied Ekalavya. I want the thumb of your right hand. Can you, can you cut it and give it to me? said Guru Dronacharya. All the princess was stunned to he- hear Guru Dronacharya's words. But Egalavya understood his Guru's choice. He happily cut off his thumb and presented it to Guru Dronacharya. Dronacharya showered his blessings on Egalavya. This is incident didn't stop Ekalavya. He continued practicing archery with his left hand and soon he became the left-handed archer and even the best left-handed archer. 
Ekala Vyas's devotion towards his guru and his hard work made him a memorable character in the Indian mythology. Thank you. This was the chapter 8. More incidents coming up in the chapter 9. Thank you. Bye. Meet you in the next episode.